Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Florida State Seminoles and the Duke Blue Devils. Number three is the player who's not afraid to do what it takes to get the job done. He can use his quickness to beat you in a lot of ways. With the ball, he can beat you with the first step. Without it, he can beat you by getting to the boards. That's why he's so good. The Blue Devils will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Blue Devils should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for him, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First, don't allow any good looks from beyond the arc. Challenge every shot. Secondly, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Finally, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. The power forward gets the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The small forward with the ball. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. That was awesome, baby! There's a high screen. Locks it. The ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Tries for two. I think this great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Down inside, the power forward takes the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The point guard takes the pass. There's the trap. Oh, what a strip, Brad. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Now the high screen. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block for the bucket. I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Goes up for two. Doesn't go. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. his dribble as they reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the outside. Unloads a three. He's money with the shot. That's a 7-0 run. He tries the three. Drains it. 
Roll that replay ready, boys. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed the low block. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Meeks is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Pressure's getting to him. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Up and inside. And Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Here's the three ball, way off target. The point guard gets the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. They go into the low block, turns it over. Two. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're trying to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Time to pick up the defense here now. They'll work it around the arc. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from left of the circle. Working it around the perimeter. Taken away. What a great strip. Tries for two. He shoots from the top of the circle. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. it up. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing him off. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. For the bucket, and in and out. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 7. Rejects it. He gets the bucket to fall. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Duke have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the outside, there's the pick. 
for two. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Scorches the net. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in trouble for a position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Gave it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. From left to the circle. Buried it. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. Here's a double team. Up it inside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. <laughs> On the outside. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Crumb in the paint. Double team now. Bad angle. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. With anticipation defensively. Ivy has got the fans roaring and applauding. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call the timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Both teams are looking to get something going here. A little frustration right there. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. They're working around the perimeter. Stolen away. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. A high screen. And we got a whistle and a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Aaron. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. With authority.
There's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. In the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He drains it. Jump hook from the low block. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Puts the ball loose. Goes for the aggressive steal. You got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brian. If you miss, you could be in trouble. Looking for contact. That's an 8-0 run. High post screen. Going to use it. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. He looks for the bomb. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Can't get the shot to go. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That is on fire. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They work it around the perimeter. Galvin, pump fakes. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Top of 
of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Perfectly executed. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He strips him clean. And the fans love him. Jump with joy, man. Sets the screen for his teammate. He puts it in with contact and all. Up and inside. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He goes for three. Tickles the twine. They come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket and off the mark. He fakes the shot. Pushing up basketball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Tries one from three-point land. Goes. At the end of the first half, the Blue Devils are up by 30. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Showed great presence on the boards in the first half. And you know what really impressed me, Brad? They did it with textbook box-out form. They sealed off. We see so many kids that don't box out. Not this team. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Is receiving lots of love from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. He wants a three, gets it to fall. He looks at the hoop. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Meeks was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Looking for a good shot. 
will take the shot. He gets it to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. Makes it. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And the fake had his shot blocked. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any dispatcher. Movement, get that good spacing. From three-point territory, you betcha. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Got the high pick. Too physical. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. There's the trap. For three. That was nice. The Blue Devils are ahead by 34. Jumped in front to take it away. This is swarming defense. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up the... He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big fly. He's doing a little number with the mascot. How about that, Mr. Vital? Hey, look at this. Look at this. Doing a little jig with the mascot. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot.
We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Intercepted. Defense giving some room. High post flasher is open. From right in the circle, he puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Gave it up. With a deep shot from outside. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. With the fake. For two. Basket falls despite the contact. The Blue Devils are ahead by 40. He unloads a three. He can't get the hoop to fall. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a double team. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up, looking for the foul. From three-point range. Duke, have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Tries for two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Fake. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Strips the ball. Solid work getting back on D. The Blue Devils are up by 45. On the inside, they move it into the front court. Gave it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts it up, looking for contact. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. The fake on the dribble gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on that count of guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Controlling the ball. He comes away with it. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. 
The little lane stayed a little wider than 12 second. 12 foot lane. He blocks the shot. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Well, Dick, I think it's been very well documented. This gym is a tough gym to win in for visiting teams. Hey, most schools play. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Would you check that out? He's jazzing it up with the mascot. Nicely done. Oh, Brad, look at that. He's showing the mascot a little love. He'll go to the line. Makes the foul shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. High post screen. So effective that screen. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Entry pass in the paint. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Off the rim and no good. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Picked off. Gave it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. And he scores despite the hat. The Blue Devils are up by 54. Top of the circle. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The Seminoles trail by 53. That's basic. He intercepts it. For two, he buries it. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Nice pass to the low block. Trying to draw some contact. That's a nice looking play right here. there if he wants it too much that's a foul 
Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Wessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two, doesn't go. He shoots from the top of the key. Duke are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The land. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Goes up for two. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. High post screen. Up and in. He couldn't get back quick enough. Hey, you lose on a gamble, you gotta hustle back. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points, it doesn't matter. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Steals the pass. They're working around the perimeter. On the inside. Trying to draw the foul. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He used the screen perfectly to put it the inside hoop. Fakes it. He shoots from left of the circle. It's good. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Steele, hold on to your seats. Galvin makes it. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time scoring. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He is going to the line. Makes it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. On the inside, with a jump hook, the Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Is this home court advantage or what? Entry pass in the paint. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Three, three. 
The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Goes out of bounds. Leans in. Got it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And the ball goes out of play. High post player flashing. Tries for two, perfectly executed. For the bucket, and off the mark. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Fakes a jumper. They've left him completely alone. Ten seconds to get it off. He looks for three. He gets that one to fall. We'll show you another angle from the booth. One on the shot clock. Step out on that screener. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Duke completely outclasses their opposition. With the difference in these two teams' rankings,